So there's been a huge shift in the way that people have been working. I mean, even though we've been actually external, a lot of accountants and legal firms, they've been working remotely technically for many years, we're seeing a lot of other skill sets start to work remotely. I think there's a huge kind of disconnect between how the communications kind of changed. But since uh, technologies like Slack came along, um, I've seen that communication gap close. Do you think, you know, as part of being a freelancer and not being part of the big machine, is it is time one of those valuable aspects? It's about the freedom to choose how you spend your time that's most important for freelancers. You might um, not do the nine to five hours, you might take your morning off and maybe um, go to pick your kids up from school or go to yoga or go surfing and that kind of thing. So if we're not working in a traditional work mm. environment, we're not working traditional hours, what should managers be looking for mm. from this new style of, of freelance and remote work to ensure success of their, not just mm. each individual employee, but the team? How, how is that measured? So I think the first thing that has to change is that how we trust. This doesn't work in, if you don't trust fellow people. And I think when we had um, this, this kind of industrialized notion of the workforce, watching people, seeing them clock in, clock out, it's completely opposite of that. Uh, as a remote worker, you're now more accountable and uh, kind of greater transparency over what you're achieving and giving to an organization than if you work in person. I, you know, I love that because it kind of flips on the head what a lot of people you think. You can't hide. That, yeah, yeah. You, everybody thinks, oh, you're, you're at home, you're not doing anything. Yep. You used words like communication yep. and trust. Mm. I think if you're a remote worker, you actually excel at those things as opposed to hide from those things because yep. you may have that feeling of disconnect. Yep. You might share news or a URL mm. or a congratulations. Yep. You know, is that what you're finding? Or are we moving towards that world? Yeah, I think a lot of people that are choosing to work remotely are actually obsessed with productivity. So they want to actually be more productive with their time and save time um, and, and spend that time wisely. And so by that nature, they're, they're being very accountable for what they do. And I think a lot of the tools and stuff that's been being developed around remote workers is increasing that accountability around productivity. But what, yeah. what advice would you give to employers who want to manage these remote people? I think that it gets back to really having a clear organizational goal and then setting KPIs. You're, you almost have to be a lot more uh, disciplined about why, where you're spending your budget and why you're doing what you're doing. And as long as you can communicate that and set clear goals, uh, it's easy to see if people are achieving those or not.